What is up guys? This is Joshua Lead and Iron and today is Friday, March 18th and that means we got our Mac Studio. Finally. I'm telling you it was like the longest week ever waiting for this. It finally showed up. Literally just dropped off by UPS. Super excited. I was almost speechless. I was like, oh my goodness, it's here. But we have a pull tab right here. We also got the keyboard. So uh, that's the new keyboard with a black button. So I, I kind of wanted to have an Apple, new Apple keyboard with Touch ID to go with this. Eventually I want to get the Mac Studio display. I think that would pair very well. I do have 4K monitors, so I'm not too worried about it, but they look amazing. So anyway, enough of me jibber jabbering. You know what? I'm going to start with the keyboard first. Let's move that over here. We'll bring this keyboard in front of me. And all it is is this tape right here. We're going to slice this open. There we go. You know, it's a smaller. Well, smaller than I thought. They do this really cool, like, bend the uh, plastic because she's done. So we have this magic keyboard. Wonderful little box, uh, opens just like most Apple products, shows you right here, you just kind of lift up, and out it comes, oh wow, okay this is nice guys, I didn't expect it to be this nice, I like the keys already, oh look how thin that is guys, holy smokes, what? Okay, it comes with a black braided type C to lightning, lightning port. Our little paperwork it just says how to use it, what you got to do. We'll put that back. So it wasn't very much in here. I was going to get like another magic mouse, but I have the magic mouse that's space gray and it looks almost like the same. So I didn't, I didn't opt for that. And I don't, trackpad doesn't, some people like trackpads, some don't. I'm good on that. I, I don't need it. <laughs> so, we'll take off this paper, put that together. I don't want to lose any of this stuff, just because I like to keep Apple boxes. They're so nice. And this thing feels really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. It has Touch ID right here. It feels solid. The keys feel great. It has a 10 key. I haven't used 10 key in a long time, but I wanted it because there's many, many, many times that I've gone and I wish I had 10 key and I'm sitting here like a Neanderthal trying to figure out you know the numbers in a row instead of 10 key. So anyway that is our magic keyboard full length real thin real nice quality build I really like the black keys on it it makes it look sharp I'm glad I, I'm glad I got this so we'll set her to the side I don't want nothing wrong happening to this it was 220 something dollars so I went with this base version, like I spoke in my last video, I was talking about how I'm able to grow into this. And as much as I wanted that Ultra, because I did, I really wanted that Ultra and I, I almost, almost, almost got it. But honestly, I'm like a noob, so I'm new to the world of editing and stuff. I have like about 100 videos on our channel right here. and. Not to say that I haven't learned a lot, because I have, but to use the M1 Ultra, the Mac Studio Ultra, to its full potential, it would probably take me a decade. Like, this is really for, like, studio studios, not just me. And I recognized that, so I was okay with it. Oh, wow. This is a beauty. I like how this... They do such cool things with their cardboard, I swear. All right, guys, here's our Mac Studio. I've been waiting for a Mac Mini, and I guess you really can't call this a Mac Mini. I wanted a smaller, you know, footprint for my desktop because I do run Windows machines, and some of my, I have two towers. One's like a, a medium size, one's pretty large. I do like the flexibility of Windows, but I, I like Mac. They're beautiful machines, just look at this. Here's the rear of the box. It has a nice, like the woven fabric. 
handle. You get to peel it over here. I'm guessing the Mac is down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpeel this. I'm telling you some moment of truth. I've been excited about this. I'm so happy. And here we go. Ain't no turning back now. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down. And now, turn it towards me and it pops open. I don't know guys. Oh man. So check this out. It has a compartment up top right here. It looks like for your paperwork and stuff. And then the Mac Studio is right in there. Let's look at this stuff first. I know you guys want to see it. I know. I get it. I want to see it too. But we got to get this stuff out of the way. So it comes with a little booklet. It tells you how to connect it and whatnot. And it comes with the black sticker. Black Apple sticker. Nice. They usually use those black stickers for like their pro models. So is that like a hint saying that this is more like of a pro model than anything else? All right. So it has two arrows right here pointing outwards. And all you got to do is just out. There she is. Whoo. Wow. Oh. Man, it smells wonderful. I know, it sounds weird to say that, but it does. There's just something about Apple products and the way they smell when they're new. Mm. I know, call me weird. Okay, looks like that's everything. I don't see anything that's able to open. Close it back up. Bring this back down. The handle comes up put her out of the way the boxing experience is amazing so here we go guys so i have the front facing me and now the rear is facing you guys so it shows you right here that you can see some fence the night this has a nice braided power cable i'm going to go ahead and open this right now really well packaged really nice i love the way apple does this kind of stuff Put that to the side and now look at the braid on this isn't that nice power cable it's braided it has that weird like a uh, mickey mouse type connection feels really nice all right so here's the top i'm going to let you guys see it first honestly okay so I'm going to pull this guy out, let you guys see the front first. And there you go. That's the front of the Mac Studio. And here's the top. And the rear. Now I'm going to tell you, this feels a little heavy towards the back. I don't want to say heavy. It's, the weight is more towards the back than it is the front. So, evidently, just because the I.O. is here, I might take it that the fans sit up here or up here. I don't know, because it feels like the weight's back here. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I can't stress enough, enough how much quality this feels like. And look at it down here. One interesting fact about this is this is made in Malaysia. So it's not made in China, but there's already people on Twitter that have taken this apart. iFix is being one of them. I know Marquez Brownlee was looking to see how to open it. And a lot of people are saying that this might be upgradable. And I think that would be awesome if it was, especially if it was storage. If you can add more storage to this, because like I said, I did go to the base model and it did start off at 512 gigabytes, but I have my NAS here and I have other external devices that I can connect to this for storage is no big deal. But a lot of, you know, people want their storage, especially these SSDs because they're fast. These are really fast SSDs. They're not the old SSDs that we're used to from Apple that weren't so great. These perform like 
7,000, maybe 8,000 megabytes a second. Now the I.O. Is, uh, that I have are four Thunderbolt ports in the back. I have the 10 gig Ethernet, our power cable, the two type A ports back here, the HDMI, and I, I'm guessing this is 2.0, not 2.1, and then the high, the high res uh, earphone plug right here, and then our power switch. I kind of wish that maybe the power switch was up here or in front, but it's tucked away. And I have the type C 10 gigabits per second up here and the XD, S, SDXD card reader. Overall, my first thoughts is this is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm in awe. I was so excited when I saw UPS come. Oh. Our Mac Studio, our Mac Studio is here, guys. And it's kind of weird because as I'm looking at my phone, this looks like right here is almost a different color, but that is just because these vents back here make it look darker. But the thickness of this is probably two and a half Mac Minis. So I'm looking at my Mac Mini over here and it just looks amazing. I'm very happy I went with this. I, like I said, I went with a base model, 512 gigabyte SSD. This has the 32 gigabytes of RAM the 10 core CPU, the 24 GPU, the 24 core GPU. And overall, I'm very happy with this. I'm lost for words. I'm super excited that I have this keyboard that looks very well together. They match, they have the black tops. I have the uh, magic mouse that is space gray, but it looks black. I'm very happy with the setup. Uh, I will set this up and then as soon as I set this up, I'm going to bring you guys along just to show you like DaVinci Resolve. I want to see how optimized it is for the M1 Max because I know it's been like optimized really well. We'll download DaVinci Resolve, we'll connect a speed editor to it, we'll do a whole bunch of cool stuff and I really hope that you guys come for the ride. I'm really excited. Thank you for joining me in this unboxing experience. This is one of my first Apple desktops that is considered like a higher end desktop and it did not disappoint not one bit thank you guys so much well, i look forward to sharing this experience with you guys bring you guys along and i really just want to thank you guys i'm gonna go set this up plug this in and we're gonna mess around with it you guys are gonna come along for the ride but i gotta go for now because my back hurts <laughs>